wanted to put together a quick video and uh, provide my personal thoughts on a product that um, has been absolutely revolutionary um, and game-changing with my personal health journey. Uh, the product is uh, called Everyday Dose. Um, you may have seen this on like social media. Um, you may have seen it just browsing the web. Um, I can tell you that I found it um, a little bit over 90 days ago, I believe on Facebook. I was scrolling through, happened to see it. It was talking about how it was an amazing coffee substitute, had all these extra benefits um, that uh, you can gain from it without some of the down, downsides of coffee, such as like dehydration, um, restlessness, uh, acid reflux, uh, flare-ups, like those types of things. So um, after reviewing it for a little bit, reading reviews, um, you know, trying to see if I could find some unbiased opinions on it, I decided to give it a shot um, and try it out. And I've been on it a little bit longer uh, than 90 days um, right now. And I will tell you up front without going through the whole review, like this stuff is a game changer for me. Um, for some people, it may not be as much so, but due to my personal health journey, um, having something, uh, having a lot of acid reflux and such, um, it, it has been an absolute game changer that has allowed me to continue enjoying um, something very, very similar to coffee, um, but not having to drink coffee or not having that want and urge to drink coffee like I usually did. Um, I was drinking two to three cups a day. Um, it would cause my acid reflux to flare up. And um, I, I was just like, look, I love coffee. It's amazing. I don't want to do without it. There's got to be something out there. Um, and I think I found it for myself. So uh, I'm going to go through the review. I'm going to kind of show you just like an unboxing what it comes with. Um, and then I'm going to just talk to you a little bit more about like the benefits of it and what I've seen um, even you know, after 30 days and I move on through there. Um, I do these videos just so you know, I, I do not get paid uh, to do any kind of video. Obviously I'm not that big anyway, I'm not that cool, but um, there's no sponsorship here or anything. Like, I literally like to do these reviews to help people and keep them from having to spend money on products that um, you know have the marketing hype and all of that. So um, I always try to do my best to give you a unbiased review. Um, I hope that you see a benefit from it, but um, I do look forward to just kind of sharing with you uh, how this product has helped me and hopefully it can help you the same. So stay tuned. Everyday Dose, my new best friend. So before diving into the unboxing, you're probably wondering how much does this cost? Well, at the current uh, recording of this video, um, you can do the trial package for about $45. And basically what it comes with is gonna be, um, I think it was 20, maybe one days, if I'm not mistaken, I think 21 days. I'll put you know, a correction in the comments if that's not right. But essentially, you'll get like a 21-day uh, packet of it, um, and you get some other cool stuff as well um, with that. Um, also, and additionally, you can order you know, 30, 60, 90-day supplies of the product. So if you want to buy in bulk, which actually I've started doing, um, that is an option for you to do. But essentially, I would just encourage you to give it the starter kit a try, um, which is what I'm going to show you real quick today. Um, just to make sure you like it and if you don't you can cancel and then you also get some cool stuff with it that you get to keep if you cancel so first off um, this is actually from my 90 day supply because I've already you know drank um, the original packet I've, I've went through several of them now but um, real quick you know this is the box you get so when you look at it um, you know just a white little box nothing nothing too crazy um, when you get it, you open it up, you know, it kind of goes over some uh, details about everyday dose so that you can uh, know what you're about to get into and really um, about the company itself. Uh, they throw in some stuff. So they throw in like a, um, like a recipe, uh, I guess you would say, call it a recipe, a way that you can um, you know, mix it up. And I'll tell you my personal preference on that. And I actually, I'll, I'll do a cut, I'll do a take of me uh, making, making a cup so you can see it. But Essentially, they, they give you that, which is cool um, there. They also include like this little poster thing. I don't know if this ever, it changes occasionally, but it's like a like a little thing here. Um, I, didn't, I haven't looked too much into this, honestly, so excuse me if I don't, um, you know, d dive too deep into that. So essentially, when you open it up, um, here's what you're, you, you get. So you'll get like a, um, a really cool setup, I think, when I'm looking at it. Uh, you'll end up getting uh, this really cool cup, which uh, kind of tells you what dose um, stands for when you look at it. So they're, um, they get it based off of uh, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Um, 
It's pretty cool, a little Easter egg, a little mushroom on the bottom, but it's just a stainless steel cup. Um, I mean, it's a good quality cup. I've, I've used it several times. Um, typically when I'm making my dough still, I like to drink it out of a regular coffee cup. So I don't use this as much as probably I should, but it's still cool. I'll, I'll still use it from, from, you know, occasional time to time. Um, inside of that, you also get this, uh, and I think it's pretty cool. I mean, some people be like, what's so cool about that? But this really cool metal spoon that, um, is for your serving sizes of your dough. So it's the perfect size. Um, you can use your own serving, uh, spoon if you want to but I thought this is really cool um, I've used it every single time just to make sure I get the perfect amount of, of dose into my into my drink um, so it's good and tastes well and then really cool is you get this reusable glass container which um, has your um, 20 plus day initial supply in there and then after that it can fit up to a 30 day supply um, inside of there um, and I've done that I've continued to use it but it it helps to seal it you know keep you know keep it fresh but also keep, uh, it, it looks cool. I mean, it's a pretty sweet little little thing there that comes with it. And of course you get to keep all this stuff even if you can't cancel your subscription. So you can maybe use it for something else. You know, if you end up not liking this, uh, you can, right? So anyway, there's that. They also come with, they give you like a travel packet or two in there in case you're on the go. You have some dose to take with you and be able to, you know, make a drink out of it, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, that, that's that's what it comes with. Um, and it had like a, um, it was, uh, you know, uh, one thing that when I ordered the 90 day supply, this is uh, kind of how they came. I had three of them. Um, and I just opened it, of course, poured it right into the, the glass container and uh, started using it. So that's the simple setup of the actual unboxing. What I will tell you, um, when you, when you think about this product, I don't want to go into like crazy amounts of detail, this is for someone, um, I, I guess it's really for anybody, but how they position it and market it, it's a coffee substitute. So it's a way in which you are able to, if you, uh, you know, maybe you want to discontinue coffee because it has side effects like it did for me, um, which the primary one was acid reflux. If I drink coffee in the morning or even in the afternoon, like my, my acid reflux would flare up and I had been on medicine for years uh, due to this. And after taking everyday dose for about 30 days, I was actually able to get off of my medicine. And I know that sounds crazy and that, that is not a recommendation for everybody, but for me, it worked. I was able to um, cut down on that, that coffee and that has allowed me to have a better quality of life now in which I am able to I've had two of these drinks in, in a day and not had any issue with acid reflux and um, been able to, you know, just, just going about my life as normal. Um, they also um, speak to di additional benefits, um, you know, such as uh, this being a healthy alternative to help you stay clear and mentally alert. Um, and what I'll say, you know, the first several times I took it, I did kind of feel this effect. And I don't know if that was just me um, getting in my own head um, to, you know, because like a placebo kind of effect. I cannot say for sure because after I did it for about a, a couple more weeks, like I didn't get any more of that, that feeling. Um, it, it really uh, is more like what I get from coffee where if I drink some of it, I, I do feel just slightly a bit more alert. Um, and I, I, I feel like I can think a little bit better, those types of things. So I get that from this, but I don't get some kind of like crazy, amazing feeling where I'm like euphoric and that kind of stuff. Like, I don't think this drink does that. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, I don't think this is it. Taste. So, um, you know, a lot of people want to, to talk about the taste of it. And um, that's where I think they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it with the taste. So I'm going to do a video kind of walk through that piece of it so that you can, you know, see me make up a drink, see what I like to do with it. And then, um, and then talk about the taste.
is the taste. And that's probably the most important thing and the thing that you're like, come on, get to the point. Um, I will say that it is very, very close to coffee. And when I compare coffee, you know, I've kind of gotten really stuck over the years on like Starbucks. So essentially what I do at home is, um, you know, I do French press a lot of times. Sometimes I use a drip ma a coffee maker. Um, but essentially I'll take Starbucks beans, grind them. I'm, I'm a typical dark roast kind of person. Grind that dark roast bean, then I'll um, do it. So I like that really bold flavor that Starbucks uh, provides with those with those darker roasts. Um, so when I was comparing uh, Everyday Dose initially, I was comparing it to dark roast. And what I'll say is if you're doing that, you're, um, you're probably gonna be a little dissatisfied with Everyday Dose. Um, however, if you're more of a medium to light roast person, I think this, they hit it really strongly in that area. And, and what I'll say about, what I mean by that is, um, it doesn't have this really deep, bold coffee flavor, but it definitely has a coffee flavor, um, like I said, close to like a light roast, maybe medium roast kind of uh, coffee. It, um, so it's not gonna like be a bam in your face kind of taste, but it does have a coffee taste. It has a coffee consistency. When you put the powder in and mix it, it, it blends in super easy. It does not clump. I've never had it clump one time. Um, so I will tell you taste department, like if I had it at one to 10 scale, I'd give it an eight. Like I love the taste. I think it's really, really good. Um, and I think it, it nails coffee. Like it's pretty much like a coffee, right? Um, and again, like I said, the texture, everything else, like it's totally coffee. Um, I have drank this several times, pure black. Like I like it like that. Throw me a, a you know a spoonful in, mix it, do it black. Don't add anything in it. Um, and I've always been just a black coffee person. But I'll tell you, after getting everyday dose and experimenting a little bit, I've really found myself liking adding about two ounces of um, uh, two ounces of uh, unsweet almond milk and heating that up for about 45 seconds in the microwave. And then after I make my everyday dose. Um, I pour that in there and then I, I do maybe like a tablespoon or so of honey um, mixed in there and then I'll froth it and it makes a really good latte. Um, you know, a healthier latte too because I'm not adding a ton of sugar other than the um, honey, um, which is a really good type of sugar um, in most cases. So I will say that that um, has been a really amazing latte. It's super simple, easy to make. It's kind of my daily routine I make in the morning now. Um, but then if I just want black coffee, I'll make it black like that. And then you can control how strong you want it by adding in more or less water. I typically do about what they recommend here is like a, um, a couple ounces or a little bit more maybe, uh, more like an espresso, how much you would put into an espresso. Um, and I'll, I'll make it in my espresso machines. It's just, I'm lazy. It's easier to do it like that. So yeah, with that said, I think they hit it across the board. The only thing I would say is if this is a little bit cheaper, it may be good. What I have found, because I'm on a subscription, you can go in and edit your subscription. And every single month I go online and just look for um, uh, you know, codes to reduce the cost. And so far, the last two batches I've ordered, I've found like a five or 10% off coupon that it lets me attach to my subscription. So I still get all the same benefits that a new person does when they sign or when they're um, ordering a, a supply of everyday dose. So you don't get, you know, I don't wanna say ripped off, but you don't get kind of pushed to the wayside of being a current customer. So um, with that being said, I think if I if I review it again and I, and, I, and I say, hey, would I buy this again? Absolutely. It's been for me, like I said, my personal journey, a game changer with the acid reflux. For you, you may like it, you may not, right? So I say just try out that trial period, see what you think about it. Um, and I hope it does you something good in your life. And, uh, you know, with that being said, I appreciate everybody watching the video. Cheers. Have a wonderful day.